to help somebody that just, they just, they just need a helping hand to get to that next step in life. You never know what you have done for the community. In 2005, realtor Dale Taylor was asked to help prep a shelter for survivors displaced by Hurricane Katrina. So after I helped clean up the facility, they asked me if I would be willing to uh, volunteer. And volunteer he did, committing to managing a shelter and becoming a board member of South Suburban Pads. South Suburban Pads has helped uh, to provide emergency shelter and free meals to help 18,000 people to overcome homelessness. Homelessness shows up in a life in all kinds of ways, and they go through their day just trying to survive. I slept in the metro station. I would get about an hour and a half of really light sleep because you're worried that, you know, somebody's going to steal what you do have. Each Monday, Dale oversees an emergency shelter at a local church. He sets up in the afternoon and spends the whole night welcoming those who have nowhere else to go. I get there early enough where I can sweep the area and then I can mop the area so I can sanitize it so that when those pads go on the floor, they have a clean environment to, to sleep upon. I was introduced to a pad and you know, went right to bed and I slept harder than I think I've ever slept in my life. This is a place of comfort. When you go into a place after being ignored for so long that people come up and hug you and maybe you haven't had a shower for a couple of days, but they don't care. They just want to make you feel good. It's important for us to look after one another. We are all extended family. With the help of Dale's powerhouse fundraising and tireless advocacy, PADS also works to transition people out of homelessness. PADS built a massive wellness center located in a safe and peaceful setting. It houses 77 apartments with wraparound services, including caseworkers, health checkups, job training, and life skill classes. If it wasn't for a program like this here, I'm not sure of what me and my kids would be. Since I've been here the last two months, I have been employed. My kids are in the great school. I was able to use a computer and get a resume. They helped me get some clothes so for interviewing. I met Steve when he was a guest, and I saw in him that desire that this is just temporary. He was not only one of the smiling faces at the shelter, but when he's known that I didn't have work, he's come up with work for me. You know, made sure I was always included. I will move mountains to make sure that you are able to survive out here. He's their advocate. He fights for them to try and help them get out of shelter and get back on their feet. And I'm actually on the verge of leaving in the next two to three months. Look for an apartment for me and my kids. When we do good, it's like a farmer planting seeds in a field. And the ultimate thing is when they come back to me and say, I made it. I see that as those were good seeds and I got to see a harvest.